So welcome to the next dungeon of the game. Welcome to Snow Peak Ruins. Now this is honestly one of my favorite dungeons in the game. I think possibly one of my favorite dungeons in general. I see you up there. Staircases are broken, so we're not getting very far up there. I'm pretty sure that door leads to nothing, so let's just go this way. Oh, another Yeti. Aw, she's sick. Hey there. Yes, I do. <coughs> you locked it in a bedroom on the third floor where it hangs. Okay, then. That's cool, we got the dungeon map straight away. Makes sense, since this is their home and all. Okay then, I'll go take a look. Okay then, let's go see what we can find. I believe his name is Yedu, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she didn't look too good. Now, if you really wanted to, by all means, you can stuff some of the soup into a bottle and drink it. But at this point, I think it only recovers, like, one or two hearts. <laughs> ah, hello again, Oku. We will be able to improve his soup, though, for him. And... It will heal more hearts as we improve it as well. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else we can do in this room, so let's keep going. Oh boy, it's time for an ice block puzzle. I think for right now it's simple enough. <laughs> we can't do anything about the frozen block at the moment, so we're just gonna have to leave it for now. But at the moment, all we need to do is just push a block onto the switch. Now we can go for this door. that ice, so we can only go through here. And... So that must be the locked door she was talking about. Oh. 
I meant to keep attacking it, but okay. Come back here. Get out of here. Now there is a chest buried under the snow here. Go away. Anyway, as I was saying, this chest was buried under the snow, and it has a small key. Now these are weird enemies here. They just kind of just slide around on the ice, especially once you hit them. They're kind of goofy. If you get them in, a, in an enclosed space, though, they can be quite dangerous once they start bouncing around. They do also move slowly towards you, if you're close enough. See? Gotcha. Actually, the easiest way to deal with them at the moment is to make bomb arrows. Because if you hit them with a bomb arrow, then they won't bounce around the room. I think they just get destroyed instantly. Okay, so there's the treasure chest in question. Uh-oh. I hate these things. Oh, nice. Got them both with one shot there. Now, I don't know what they're called, but they're basically... Like beings made of ice. If you're far enough away, they'll actually throw their spears at you. So they're quite annoying. But I found that the easiest way to deal with them is to use the Helm Splitter special attack on them. And we got an Origin Pumpkin. Oh, okay. Well, it's not like we have much choice, Mint, though. No? If I wanted to, I could go up there, but there's not much point, because that block's in the way we can't get very far. Let's go see Yetta. We can also give this pumpkin to Yet too. Ow! You could have just asked for it, dude. So the soup has been improved a little bit. I think it recovers four hearts now. I suppose I can take some. Just so I have something different. Got good soup in your bottle. It smells like pumpkins. Yeah, I was right, it recovers four hearts. All right, Miss Yetta. You kind of got the location wrong for us there. Okay, then. Huh? 
All right then, let's check it out. Hopefully she's right this time. That's weird. I thought there was like a treasure chest buried around here somewhere. But anyway, see that thing over there? That thing is blocking our way through that door, and we don't have a means of getting rid of it at the moment. We will soon, though. Okay, so we have a cannon in here. And right there we have a cannonball. Now we're gonna have to take grab that cannonball and take it all the way to the cannon. Oops, I missed. Place cleared now. So let's go grab that cannonball and take it to the cannon. So the cannonball's inserted. Cannon manual. Insert iron, continue, put in explosion, launch. Good enough for me. Okay, so we have a means of breaking the ice. Well, somewhat. Now, the cannon can only be rotated into four different positions in the cardinal directions here, so it's kind of limited of where we can face it. So the other, other way we can face it at the moment is to the right. And let's blow up those things in our way. Oops. There we go. Okay, pathway cleared. <laughs> Alright, now I would suggest taking out those ice things from afar here. Because you don't want to be fighting them when you're on these little, thin little platforms. Okay, that takes care of them. Get out of here, ice keys. Now, be very careful if a platform is covered in ice, because there's a good chance Link is going to slip on it and fall. So let's just take this nice and slow. I 
think we're gonna have to jump across here. Just use the claw shot. All right, let's get out of here. Is a treasure chest here. I guess we just needed the compass to reveal it, though. We'll go on, open it. Thank you. Now we can unlock this door. Now, don't even bother trying to climb that ladder, because one of those ice monsters is right at the top waiting to freeze you to death. But what we need to do here is grab this lever, and we can put one of these cannonballs on this mechanism. Then we go back outside, and using this the lever on this side, we can transfer the cannonball over, which I think is kind of cool. Alright, now we can use the cannon. Now we can take care of that ice monster that's blocking that door over there. After we, after we rotate the cannon, of course. <laughs> All right, you. Say cheese. Bam. Door open. like some kind of armory. Uh-oh. Um. Um. Hello there. Okay, so that suit of armor's come to life. And it's got a ball and chain.
Alright, now what we need to do is just wait for him to attack. First, let's claw shot out of the way. Ow! Damn, he's got a long range. His only vulnerable, vulnerable spot is his tail. Yeah, if he gets too close, just claw shot out of the way. Nice try. guy can be fairly difficult. Aha, but we got him. Goodbye to you, sir. his weapon. He thinks I'll just be taking that. You got the ball and chain. This giant iron ball has incredible power. Now this is a pretty cool weapon. It's just really slow. But yeah, I like this weapon. It's also another weapon that was added in Hyrule Warriors. Get out of here. Now that we have the ball and chain, we can break sheets of ice ourselves. Which is pretty cool. God, Orden Goat Cheese. Huh? She was wrong again. I guess so, Midna. Hey, at least we got a cool weapon out of it. Now that we have the ball and chain, we can clear out this ice path. So now we have access to both sides at any given time. Sorry, Yetta, but you got it wrong again. some cheese for you. Huh? 
Jeez, Yanu. Just ask, man. Alright, I think I will actually try it now. You put superb soup in your bottle. It smells quite cheesy. Now, I think this is the strongest the soup is going to get. It recovers eight hearts. So I think it's as strong as a red potion is in this game. And the best part is, you have an infinite amount that you can just keep coming back for. So that's cool. Oh, you do, do you? Okay, so that's on the second floor, it looks like. So we'll head that way in a moment. But first, let's head to the main entrance of this place. Because there's some more stuff that we can break open now that I have a ball and chain. Also, I, I think Nintendo may have made this as a clever joke, but you get the ball and chain weapon in a dungeon where you have a husband and wife. I think that's pretty funny. I think I just got that too. Oh, that's a pope. Your soul is mine. I think it's cool that you don't even need to toss the weapon for it to actually deal damage as well. You can just swing it around and it'll damage anything nearby. Get out of here. Okay, that's it for the foyer. So let's head through that new path that Yetta opened. Thank <laughs> you. 